Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest optional bug fix release update for Windows 10. And believe it or not, this is one of the final non-security updates that the OS will receive before Microsoft ends support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October. So if we head to the calendar, with this update we found ourselves at the end of August. So we will receive another optional update at the end of September. And for October, we don't get an optional update at the end of the month because Microsoft is officially ending support on the 14th, which is the Patch Tuesday, which will be the Patch Tuesday cumulative security update. So very interesting to see how this is all going to pan out. But nonetheless, second last optional bug fix release update for Windows 10. Now for this month, the update is KB5063842 and if you do decide to install the update, because it is optional, and I always say with optional updates, only install them if you have an issue with your system. I'll just ignore the update because if you don't install it now, most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday update the next month. Now if you do decide to install it, OS build for Windows 10 22H2 is sitting on 19045.6282. Now first of all the update will include the out of band update KB5066188 that rolled out about a week ago which addressed a known issue and the known issue, just a quick recap, it addresses an issue introduced by the August 2025 security update in which attempts to reset and recover the device fails. So if you haven't installed this out of band update, that will be automatically patched with this update. Now we get two so-called new features with this update. And the first is if you do find yourself in a corporation and an enterprise, the first is in regards to the ESU, Extended Security Updates, which I've enrolled in as a consumer. But if you are in a corporation and enterprise, the update adds a new feature that allows customers using the Windows 10 keyless commercial ESU solution alongside a Windows 365 subscription to block outbound network traffic. The enhancement, Microsoft says, supports compliance with zero exhaust policies. And then the second so-called new feature is also for organizations. It's regarding the Windows Backup for Organizations, which is now generally available, Microsoft says. And this would be very similar to the Windows Backup app transfer files feature. Transfer information to a new PC. Which, by the way, just on another side note, I have noticed seems to be working now because Microsoft has removed the message which says um, it, the, the app will be rolling out fully in an up-and-coming update and will be fully functional in an up-and-coming update. So that message has been removed, so it looks like this is actually working now for home PCs. But getting back to Windows Backup for Organizations, it's very similar to the transfer information that's found uh, in the home version where you, if you're refreshing your organization's devices or upgrading to Windows 11, Microsoft says this solution helps sustain productivity with minimal disruption. So those are the so-called two new features um, with this update. And then just to focus on a couple of bug fixes, there's a handful of them. Just to go through these, first of all, Microsoft says they fixed an issue that affects how certain supplementary characters appear in Windows text boxes. There was an issue with the Chinese Simplified Input Method Editor where some extended characters were shown as empty boxes. That's been fixed. For Windows Hello, there was an issue in which Narrator reads the incorrect name for the Enhanced Facial Recognition Protection checkbox under the Facial Recognition setting. That's been patched. And there was an issue with the search pane where Microsoft has fixed an issue that might cause the Windows search pane to not show the preview pane correctly. Now, I'm going to question that one because 
I'm still getting a blank search box in some instances. Even though Microsoft has said they fixed that and I've installed the updates. So I'm going to take that one with a so-called pinch of salt. And there's a family safety fix where Microsoft fixed an issue where the ask to use approval flow was not being triggered for blocked apps. Microsoft says that with this fix, the approval flow now appears as expected when a blocked app is accessed. And over and above that, we've got about three or four under the hood fixes. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest optional update for Windows 10, KB5063842, which according to Microsoft will be the second last C-release update that is rolling out for Windows 10 before that end of support date. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.